Brian Bolain, corporate manager with Lexus Marketing. And uh, you start out by saying, you know, decades ago, if you looked at the luxury industry, luxury vehicle ownership was really easy to understand, right? It was a simple thing. People reached a certain point in their lives, their income enabled their ability to kind of reach out for a certain level of status. It was easy to realize that. Uh, luxury was generally represented by something that was bigger, something that was faster, maybe something that was a little more posh or plush. And a certain amount of recognition came with that luxury purchase, right? This was a person who had achieved something in their life. So that was sort of the prevailing ethos that propelled the luxury segment through most of the 20th century. But if we fast forward to more recent times, we find that there's a broader, more complex formula that really now plays a role in filling the lower funnel of luxury. The vehicle purchase certainly still makes a statement to be sure, but modern luxury vehicles now need to check a lot more boxes than ever before, right? They have to have an expressive exterior design. It's got to be draped over sophisticated suspension layouts. You need to have an advanced high output drivetrain that's inspired by performance cars. You've got to have immersive multimedia capabilities. All these things come into play. You've got to have the handling, the acceleration, the behind the wheel thrills that these cars offer. This really has become uh, the cost of entry. Uh, to lure a potential luxury consumer. So of course, the enthusiast audience pushes these uh, boundaries, these requirements, even further, often blurring the lines between, you know, a street car that's a little bit at home on a track or a track car that is still suitable in some ways for the street. So in order to satisfy these really more evolved brand dimensions, Lexus, as you all know, offers a lot of products, various levels of performance-oriented vehicles. So many of the brands, sedans and coupes, offer an ideal starting point for developing cars that deliver on this kind of higher performance driving promise. Lexus's performance offerings are best described by the pyramid that's on the screen. So at the top, no surprise, you find the production-based RCF GT3. Many of you know this is the car that represents Lexus in our global motorsports efforts. Here in the US, we just announced a few weeks ago the formation of F Performance Racing. And that is a newly created team that's going to be running a limited schedule in 2016 and paving the way for a much more aggressive multi-car effort in 2017 and 2018. Now a lot of you know Scott Pruitt. Scott's with us here tonight, sitting in the back. You'll have time to chat with him in the next 24 hours. Scott, of course, is the country's most successful sports car racer. He's going to bring his experience to the team as the lead driver for F Performance Racing. Now, at Lexus, we have a long history with Scott. He was a big help to us with the LFA and a lot of our F products. And we're honored to have his participation in this uh, racing effort. Now, this level of racing not only enhances the brand's performance image, right? There's a lot of image building necessary. But most importantly, the lessons and the innovations that we gain from racing have to help further strengthen the F brand's engineering culture. And they help drive advances eventually into our production models, right? Now, as we move a step down that pyramid, our track-bred F-brand cars represent the highest performance vehicles offered by Lexus for use on public roads. Now, the ISF launched the F-brand in 2008. That first sedan, some of you probably remember the storytelling, really was a skunk works effort brought to life by a passionate and very small group of dedicated, almost rogue engineers. They were focused on developing track-capable performance luxury vehicles that were validated on the Fuji Speedway, and of course, thus the F in the name. So the ISF was followed by the 500 unit run of the carbon fiber intensive exotic LFA in 2012. Truly the first uh, Japanese car to achieve supercar status in recent years. And last year we introduced the RCF Coupe, and now of course, as Mel mentioned, our newest F product, the GSF sedan, goes on sale here this month. So these vehicles compete in a very small niche, also occupied by other larger performance brands, a very predictable bunch of product. But simply put, the F brand vehicles are designed, as we like to say, from the asphalt up to fulfill consumer needs for high performance vehicles that are equally adept at the track as on the roads that we all drive daily. And I hope you'll find that out for yourselves tomorrow. They're designed to deliver a thrilling driving experience and offer the finest level of engineering that Lexus offers today. The F brand vehicles you're driving tomorrow both feature a 467 horsepower V8 engine, top chassis, a more uniquely conceived suspension to enhance speed, control, without compromising ride quality. They also offer torque vectoring differential technology, right, to improve traction, stability, cornering speeds, 
And I think most importantly, unlike other brands, Lexus doesn't do this just with braking. The technical presentation tonight will shed a little more light on how we handle a more sophisticated TDD. Now our F models also feature larger Brembo brakes, wider tire and wheel packages, electronically controlled transmissions that offer modes to help maximize the track experience. Now the exterior F brand vehicles are identified by revised sheet metal from the eight bullet forward, in addition to unique rear diffusers that feature quad exhaust outlets. We paid careful attention to the vehicle aerodynamics in the interest of high speed stability, of course. On the inside, more supportive seats, unique to F-brand models, dominate finely crafted interiors, finished in specialized materials, including Alcantara and semi-animal leather. And these vehicles make a stronger statement about Lexus. The brand has clearly come a long way in just seven short years since the ISF was introduced. So we've really been in this performance game seven years. Though the annual volume of such vehicles is typically between just 2,000 2,500 units per year, their impact to the brand image can't be overstated. These are halo products that create an aspirational value for the entire Lexus brand. Now, if we move one more step down the pyramid, we come to the F-Sport products. And as you all know, these vehicles really emulate the visual design cues that we see on the F-Cars, and they still fulfill the promise of a vehicle that's often a more dynamic driving experience than the equivalent base models, but at a much more attainable price point than a full-on F-brand vehicle. So F-Sport vehicles start with factory uh, drivetrain components, but their dynamic character is upgraded with dedicated tuning that alters the steering wheel, the transmission response, provides a more aggressive suspension setup. And of course, on some of our F-Sport vehicles, we also have adaptive variable suspension that further pays off on this greater handling problem. Now, since the introduction in 2010, the F-Sport models have been a growing part of the overall model mix. There's currently seven F-Sport products in our lineup, and the F-Sport models have succeeded in drawing new consumers to the brand. And I think the installation rates, I'm about to tell you, for this spec level might surprise you. So take the IS as an example, where F-Sport accounts for more than 40% of our business. On the RC, it's more than 70% of the mix, and for GS, we're steady at half our product <coughs> being F-Sport. So it's important to note that consumers who choose F-Sport are also typically younger than those people who are buying the equivalent base model product. In the case of GS, the buyers are on average eight years younger when they choose an F-Sport than when they choose the typical base GS. And similar age gaps exist across all of our F-Sport models, bar none. Now F-Sport helps keep the IS the youngest car in the luxury industry. I think that's a fact that a lot of people don't realize. The IS is the youngest car in luxury with a median age in the early 40s, and F-Sport helps us stay there. This F-Sport's success is one of the forces that really is driving the brand sales surge in the luxury market today. So clearly we feel like consumers are very open to this notion or this promise of Lexus as a more performance-oriented brand. And this is particularly true when we look forward to the next generation of luxury buyers who are entering the market today. Now, some of our newer F-Sport models have adopted the brand's two liter turbo, and those will be available for you during the street drive portion of your uh, event uh, tomorrow. So with all that as a primer, I just wanna sum this up with one very simple thought as for you to take away. F really does change everything at Lexus. And when you factor in F and F-Sport together, you're truly seeing the emergence of what we like to refer to as the other side of Lexus. Mm -hmm.